wisdom. But nobody remembered that poor man. Oh, so I say the wisdom is better than strength. But the poor man's wisdom is despised. And his words are no longer heeded. The quiet words of the wise are more to be heeded than the shouts of a ruler of fools. Wisdom is better than the weapons of war. But one sinner destroys much good. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Asi tandazeni. Kulunguluna namsha kusiswa. Na lilif la kungo si sisi lifunzile. Si angu sango sutu songe na namusha. Ukulu mena tingo sengele le pageme. Guze gutingo si nas puma la na ba bes puma songe gile. Kulu man kulungulu ngoba la banye be tungo si sene tinginga. La banye be tu si kage gile. Ngalu lilif la kusi angu sango kulungulu guze kulu masi puma si nato timbenvulo. Na Christu si tandaza. Amen. King Solomon tells a story. He tells a story. Others believe this was a parable. Others say this happened in one of the neighboring countries King Solomon was doing business with. Others are saying this happened, in, it is somewhere recorded in the Bible. But maybe it happened, maybe it did not happen. But there's wisdom in this story that King Solomon tells. He says that there was a city. And this city was a little city. He says in this little city lived a few men. He says one day this city was attacked. And it was attacked by a great king. And this great king when he attacked the city. He built huge siege works around the city. And the Bible then says. But there was a wise man in the city. This wise man was able to deliver the city. From this evil king. This evil great king. This poor wise man was able to deliver the city. And then King Solomon says, but this wise man, this same wise man who delivered the city, he was not remembered. If you had said a powerful layman, we were closing. But you did not. Listen to the wisdom that King Solomon is sharing with us. He says there was a city, a little city. In this, in this little city lived a few men this city was attacked by a great king. This great king built siege works around the city. But there was a wise man in the city. This wise man was able to deliver the city from this great king. And after he had delivered the city, this great king, this wise man was not remembered. Ah, Barcelona, you see people, people will disappoint you. People have a way of not remembering you. A friend of mine tells me a story that happened a few weeks ago. He's a pastor, so he goes to preach at this other church. Now he had no money. He had no money, so he drives to this church. There's no, there's no, there's no fuel in his car. He drives to this church hoping the saints will give him something because they have invited him. And he preaches, he says he was preaching about the faithfulness of God. After preaching about the faithfulness of God, the neighbors, the, 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 the saints come to the pastor and they say to the pastor all they say to the pastor is God bless you and that was it the pastor was left stranded there was no fuel in his car he had to, to drive home he decided maybe they, he thought there was something in his account so he drives to the petrol station when he gets to the petrol station he gives the petrol attendants his card when they swipe the card the petrol attendant comes and says there is nothing in your account this man who has just preached about the faithfulness of God he is now stuck at a petrol station. The saints, all the saints gave him was God bless you. After he had blessed the saints, the saints had remembered him not. After he had encouraged the saints, the saints remembered him not. Same thing happened to me the other day. I was invited to this other church. I will not tell you what church this is. And this happens a lot in this line of work. I was invited to this church to preach. Barcelona was on fire that day. I preached. I, I, I had no money. I had no money. I was broke that day. I preached hard. I preached hard, hoping the saints would bless me. After preaching hard, waiting for the saints to bless me, the saints gave me, God bless you. And they left me stranded. I had to make a plan on how to get back home because there was nothing in my account. There was nothing in that I had no money. The same. You see, people will disappoint you. People will let you down. You see, when I went to this church to preach, 
I put my faith on the church members. And when they disappointed me, I was left stranded. If I put faith in God, God will never disappoint you. People will disappoint you. People will leave you stuck by a petrol station. People will leave you stranded. People have a way of disappointing us. But God has never disappointed. And he will never disappoint you. Don't trust people, but trust God. Because God never disappoints. They remembered him not. After he had delivered him, they remembered him not. There's another story, Barcelona. This is in the book of Esther. Mordecai, Mordecai, remember Mordecai, he hears two gentlemen discussing on how they would assassinate the king. He tells this to Esther, and Esther tells this to the king, and Esther informs the king that it is Mordecai that had informed him. The Bible tells us that Mordecai was not rewarded for his great work. But when we go to chapter 5, in chapter 5, Haman is planning on how to kill Mordecai. In chapter 6, verse 1, the Bible says that the king had a trouble sleeping that night. And he went to his record books. And in the record books, Mordecai's name was there. And it was said that Mordecai had saved the king. And the king asked the question, what was done to Mordecai? Was he rewarded for saving the king? Yeah, Lord, I want to say to you today, don't stop doing good. Keep doing good. Your Father who is in heaven can see and he will reward you at the right time. In fact, in the word of God, the Bible says, payday is coming. Keep doing good. Payday is coming. Because, Brother Lord, if, 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 if they are attacked by another enemy, they will remember this poor wise man. They will go back to this poor wise man and ask him to deliver them again. The question is, must he deliver them? Must he deliver them? The word of God says, he must deliver them. Because there is a father who is in heaven, who is watching over his children, and he will reward you at the right time. People may forget you, but he will never forget you. At the right time, he will reward you. So that we close this thing, Baba Mabuza. So that we close this thing. The Bible says, the king attacks the city. A wise man delivers the city. This is a poor wise man that delivers the city. Oh, you're still not getting this thing. I want to sit down, Bazalone, help me out. The wise man delivers the city. A great king had attacked the city. A wise man delivers the city. When I read in my Bible, the Bible tells me that in the beginning, in the, in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve are minding their own business. The snake appears from nowhere. And the snake tricks Adam and Eve and they fall for the trap. And the Bible tells us the earth became a messy place. Cain kills his own brother Abel. The children of Israel are in Egypt and they are slaves for so many years. The earth is a messy place. The city has been attacked. The city has been attacked by a great enemy. The city has been attacked. But when I read my Bible, the city must be delivered. When I read in the New Testament, in the Apostle Paul that puts it well when he says, the city that was attacked in the Garden of Eden, the city was delivered. For the Apostle Paul puts it this way. He says, when the fullness of time was come, God sent his son, born of a woman, God sent his son to deliver the city. Ah, oh, Barcelona, you are not getting this thing. The city was going to be delivered. Mary says to Joseph, I am with the child. The, del the, the deliverer has come to deliver the city. Deliver the city from the enemy. Mary says, I am with the child. He says, this child is by the Holy Spirit. Joseph does not understand it. He says, you are mistaken. There is something wrong with you. He divorces, he, divorces, he divorces Mary because he thinks Mary has cheated on him. The deliverer had come. In fact, the Bible says, wise men were coming from the east, following a star. And they say to Herod, we saw a star from the east and we have been following the star. The deliverer had come to deliver the city. Oh, as I wonder, the Bible tells me, the Bible tells me that on the way to the cross, to deliver the city, we meet a man by the name of Barnabas. Barnabas has messed up, he knows it. Barnabas has done wrong, he knows it. He knows he is guilty. And the crowd shouts his name. And the crowd says, Barnabas must be freed. Barnabas must be let go. Because Barnabas, because somebody had come to deliver the city. The deliverer had come. So Barnabas could not remain in prison. The deliverer had come to deliver the city. Oh, 
does the Lord of the Bible say? It was at the cross. At the cross, Jesus, at the cross, he cries out, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they are doing. The deliverer had come to deliver the city. Deliver the city from the enemy. Ah, you're not getting this thing. He had come to deliver the city from this great enemy that had built a siege works around the city. Siege works of deception around the city. Siege works of greed around the city. Siege works of hatred around the city. The deliverer had come to deliver the city. And the Bible says, ah, was the Lord, let me close it. So the Bible says, Jesus at the cross. He cries out at the cross. And he says at the cross, it is finished. Which means it is finished. Which means it has been paid. In fact, it has been paid in full. The deliverer had come. The city was delivered now. That is why Jesus says at the cross, it is finished. Because the city had been delivered city that was attacked was delivered yeah. by a poor wise man. Yeah. Oh yes, he was a poor wise man. Oh, because he was born in a manger. He was born in the land of slaves. He was a poor wise man. The apostle Paul will tell you that even though he was rich, but for your sakes he became poor so that you may be rich. He was a poor wise man. Amen. Coming to deliver a city. A city attacked by the evil one. Attacked by the evil one. See, Bazalwane, before I sit down, I must let you know that the devil is powerful. Yeah, you missed it. Oh, the devil is powerful. That is why our families are falling apart. The man is powerful. That is why, that is why things are happening the way they're happening in the world. Because the devil is powerful. Oh, but the deliverer is more powerful than the devil. And look, let's go back to our story. How does this poor wise man deliver the city? The Bible says he delivered the city by his wisdom. Ah, yeah. he delivers the city by his wisdom. And how does the poor wise man in the New Testament deliver the city? Wisdom. The Apostle Paul again, I love him. He says the cross is foolishness to those that do not believe. The cross is foolishness. To the unbelievers, it is foolishness. It does not make sense to the unbelievers. The cross, the story of the cross, doesn't make sense to the unbelievers. Because how does an innocent man die as a convicted criminal? It does not make sense to the unbelievers. But the cross, yes. to those who believe. Yeah. The cross, to those who believe, it is the wisdom of God. The cross, which is foolishness to the unbelievers. The cross is wisdom. It's the wisdom of God. Yes. It was alone in the cross is the wisdom of God. Because there is no better love story, better than the story of the cross. The cross is the wisdom of God. Because it is the cross that made a difference for you and for me. The cross yes. is the wisdom. Of God Almighty. That is why my prayer each day is that Jesus Almighty keep me near the cross. Near the cross. Because the cross made a difference for me. It is the wisdom of God. Had it not been for the old rugged cross. Had it not been for a man called Jesus. But someone who would be lost. The cross is the wisdom of God. A poor wise man delivered the city. The city is delivered. The city is delivered. There is nothing the devil can do. The city is delivered. Let me close it this way. Let me share with you the story. So I have shared the story before with some of you. It is told it happened in South Africa. It happened in South Africa. There was this young man. He was an Adventist. He was an Adventist at Deacon. In the Adventist church, this deacon was a, he, he loved this team Orlando Pirates with, with all his heart. You should have said amen. That is a big club. So this, this man loves, the, he loved the team with all his, his heart. One day Orlando Pirates was playing Kings of Chiefs. Now that is, the, that is a big game. That is a big game. It was going to be on Saturday afternoon. Now this man is a deacon at church. He must go to church on Sabbath. 
he must go to church on Sabbath, but he wants to watch this game. But then he must go to church. So he asked his friends to record the game. His friends agreed that they would record the game and he was going to watch the game after church. So he goes to church. In the morning, he's there. Divine service, he's still there. In the afternoon, he's still there. He's still there at church. After church, he goes home. The friends had recorded the game, and the game had ended 3 nil in favor of Orlando Pirates. You still did not say that, amen. It had ended 3 nil in favor of Orlando Pirates. But still, this young man sits on his couch to watch the game. He's achieved his attacking left, right, and center. It looks like they're going to score. Out of frustration, this man starts shouting at the Orlando Pirates players. Clear the ball, tackle him. The friends come over and they say, brother, relax. The score is 3-0. Kaiser Chiefs is awarded a penalty. This man stands and crosses his fingers. He says, keeper, do something, save this thing. The friends come over, they say, man, relax. The score is 3-0. You still did not get it. The score of Azalone is 3-0. The city has been delivered. The score is 3 -nil. The first goal was scored in heaven. You know the story, what happened in heaven. The devil going up to Christ saying, I can do these things, what is wrong? I'm better. And the Bible says he was removed from heaven, thrown down. That was the first goal. The second goal was scored at the cross. You see, at the cross on Friday, the devil thought he had equalized. But I want to say to you, that was an offside goal. Because on Sunday morning, the Bible tells me the stone was rolled away. The son of man came out of the tomb. When Mary and Martha, when, when the ladies were going to the tomb to watch his body, an angel appears and says, you women, what are you doing in this place? Why such? for the living amongst the dead he is risen he is not here the city has been delivered delivered by this poor wise man ask me about the third goal the third goal has not yet been scored but you see we walk by faith and not by sight the third goal is scored when the son of man comes the second time the city has been delivered it may seem like the devil has got the upper hand but the city has been delivered it may seem like the devil is running things but the city has been delivered the poor wise man has delivered the city. Oh, but the problem is that. The problem is that and the sad part is that some of us remember him not. After he has delivered the city. After he has paid it all. It is very sad that still body stones are full of Christians. We remember him not. The city has been delivered. He has delivered the city. But we remember him not. And the word remember, remembered in the, in the story. When you look at the word remembered, it means to proclaim, to meditate upon. It means to commemorate. When they forget him, may we proclaim him. When they forget him, may we commemorate him. When they forget him, may we talk about him. Before we sleep, may we call our children and our family and talk about the man that delivered the city. When we wake up in the morning, before you step outside, talk to this man that delivered the city. When you go to work, your colleagues must know that you know the man that delivered the city. Tell people that the city has been delivered and you have a relationship with the deliverer. Hey, hey. Remember the man that delivered the city. When the world talks about other things, talk about this man. Remember this man. Proclaim him. Meditate upon him. The deliverer of this city that was attacked by a great evil king. He delivered it. And today we are sitting here. Sitting here and singing songs of praise. Because he delivered the city. Our eyes are closed. And we are praying. Age kongosi lofana na nawe. When uncle and Kulua Kate and Gorsi, good to Melan Votanayako, good to your spell like Calvaris Pambanwe. Gusengulungu Lutine, Sibeban Vungos Labacul Legil. Gusasoman Latine, Sibeban Vungulungulu, Labanga de Babo Pega Fuzzi. Mutanda Zoami Soman, the water besing at the side Libala Logo. Besna Kumbula Michlang and Malang like Pilaguet. Besna Kumbula Sisa Hambaglom Shabalom Bigangaga. Nabandu batu la manga kuluminga awe ni atanda za uti tine maskulu menga awe sati se bandu kulungu guti tine si kulegi ile na lolo was kulula si amadi lolo was kulula si tetaskati na e banana tisoma la sakala na livigile singati guti lispatele 
ke phasomandla siyati ukuthi loyo lo wasikhulula nakulo leliviki lesingathi ukuthi lesiphathelene sosihambele embili ngiyathandaza somandla ukuthi besingabambelela singede sayekela uze ubuye ngemafu uyosithatha usiyise ekhaya ngakrestu ngiyathandaza amen